Now we want this bone structure to actually be in our rabbit. We would move it in. I can zoom out if I want. I can hit four if I want to go into that wireframe mode again. And then I would actually go through and morph these. I can select each little joint. And since our knees do tend to bend a little more like a rabbit, you rarely see their leg being straight out. You might want to actually make the bone with that slight bend to it. We might say, okay, the spine curves out a little. And then we can grab this one, and kind of move it in. If we start, actually, that's the arm. If we start to get this weird stretching, let's go ahead and hit four here just to see it. I still select and move it. And if you did grab something like this arm, you can always grab the other nodes and move them afterwards. Now the ears, I could sit here and move each one, but since they're made to rotate back a little, I could also grab the rotate tool and adjust my bones that way as well. But the key is really that you want the bones or the joints to be in the rabbit and affecting the right area. And if I wanted to be able to animate this tail, I might at this point add an extra little bone and connect that as well. So I would have a tail node to animate that. And I don't even need a full bone structure. I could if I wanted, but I could also just put one node in there and connect it as well. In this case, I think I'll do this. So if I'm looking at my object and realize at any point, well, actually I do need one more area to control it. Shift. There we go. Now, this is going to be the part that students don't find as fun, is that after you get this initial bone chain done, you need to go through and name them. And you actually want to name them in a specific order. So if we go to our attribute editor, we can click here and we can say like spine one, and go through and name them all. And I'm sure you're like, wow, we don't wanna watch a whole video of you renaming everything. You won't have to, we're going to cut in a second. The important thing is that when you get to something like shoulder, you actually wanna call this L shoulder. And now that I think about it, I'm going to keep everything lowercase except for my right and left direction because later on I'll be able to do a replace and I'll be able to keep it case sensitive. So if it's an R or an L, like if I'm saying this is my left, left hip, I'm going to go ahead and make that L capital. Same for my left knee. So go ahead and take the time to rename all of the joints in your rabbit. And we're going to stop here and come back.